Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the second weekend of the Modern Warfare 2 beta. And I want to start out this video by saying, I have really enjoyed my time playing this game. I like the gunplay. I like the way the gunsmith works. I like the, oh, most of the maps and basically a lot of the things that were added into this game. However, there's a big problem and I wanted to get it across in this video because this is the time to do so. This is going to act as one, a message to the community and two, a message to Infinity Ward when it comes to our feedback and what we are saying about the game. There's a couple of really big points that need to be addressed here because earlier this week when they put out the patch notes for the beta weekend too, I didn't like what they were saying and I wanted to address that directly to give me and to give you guys a chance to get your opinions and get your feedback across. Like I said, been enjoying the beta, but those patch notes really rubbed me the wrong way and I wanted to address that in a video. So that is exactly what we're going to do in today's video. But first, let me tell you about today's video sponsor. If you're a fan of the channel, you're probably a fan of video games and playing video games is fantastic, but what makes it even better is playing with friends. Now, sometimes people don't have friends that play the same games as them and that gets a little bit difficult, but that is why today's video is sponsored by ePal. Now, personally, I have met some of my closest friends online playing video games, the kind of people you stay up late at night with either discussing how you're going to get your next win or arguing about whether pineapples really deserve to be on pizza. Now, as far as ePal goes, they have chosen the color purple as their logo because it represents companionship, the kind of companions that you can meet online through playing your favorite games. But the problem is, is sometimes that is hard to find, and that is where ePal comes in. What ePal is, is a website designed for you to go in and find friends to play with. Whether you're looking for companionship, just someone to hang out with, or you're looking for someone to carry you through the game, you can find both. So for example, if we get on here to Call of Duty, you can see that there's over 16,000 people on here waiting to play with someone. So you can find someone here like Unknown Royal who can carry you through the game and was ranked 47th in the first year of Rebirth Island. Or you can hang out with someone like Cage of Rage who states that he's not great at Call of Duty, but he's also not bad, but just wants to hang out. And what you can do is pay a little bit of money. You can pay for a game or pay for a couple of hours to play with someone and boom, just like that, you've got a friend to play with. And in fact, right now, if you click my link down in the description, go sign up and then use the invitation code ink slasher you're immediately going to get five dollars for absolutely free to try it out so if you're looking for people to play with check out epal first link down in the description and thank you epal for sponsoring the video now i want to be clear here there's been two sets of patch notes put out one yesterday when the actual weekend two went live these ones i am completely fine with they talk about audio they talk about perks and they talk about some weapon tuning completely fine with this i also like that they're actually naming the weapons in the patch notes it makes it a little less confusing for your average player so big thumbs up on these patch notes. Infinity Ward, I think he did a pretty good job on them. However, these are not the patch notes that I'm talking about. These are the patch notes that I'm talking about. They came out before the second weekend of the beta went live. They addressed some issues that they were fixing, uh, but then they addressed a few of the community issues and what people were talking about, including target tracking, user interface perks. And for the most part, I did like these. I think they gave good explanations for things that they did do. I think the perk section is a pretty good read. Uh, footstep audio, they explained what they were doing to make it better, making some quieter, louder in certain situations. I like these patch notes, except for one spot. And it, the way they worded it and the way they talked about it bothered me so much, I wanted to make this video. So the section that I'm talking about is the minimap dot rules. This is what they had to say. Currently in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, we only show enemy player dots when a UAV is active. Keep in mind, it doesn't say this, but if someone has ghost, they do not show up. The design reason for this is that we do not want to punish players for firing their weapons. We also want players to actively search out the origins of a gunshot versus just traveling directly to where the dot is on the minimap. We continue to gather feedback on how the game is playing in regards to this topic. When I read that, essentially what I hear or see is that they are saying, we hear people complaining about the red dots, but we don't care. We think we're right. We'll continue to listen, but we're not changing it. So Infinity Ward, if that is what you are doing, if you're monitoring the situation and are going to evaluate the decision based off of it, let me put this challenge out to you. Quick Play is currently a playlist within Modern Warfare 2. Put a separate quick play playlist into the beta this weekend. I know it's hard to do because it's last minute, but have red dots on in that playlist. Call it quick play red dots or something like that and see 
what people play. Are they going to play the one without the red dots or are they going to play the one with the red dots on? You're in a beta. It's the time to test this and you can actually get numbers and feedback if you do that. I'm not saying just turn it on for the whole game. Put in a playlist. See what people play. That is how you monitor it, and that's how you figure out what people are actually going to play. Now, as far as the rest of their statement in regards to red dots and appearing on the minimap when you fire your weapons, let me give my opinion on that and that alone. First off, they said that they did it by design to not punish players for firing their weapon. So basically what they're saying is you can hold down the trigger all the time and we don't want you to be punished for that. I don't understand that, but okay, if that's what they're wanting to do. They also say we want players to actively search out the origin of gunshots. Is that not what red dots do? You see them and then you go and search the origin. If someone isn't camping, then they have probably moved from that location and you have to search for the origin of that in the first place anyway. At least that is my experience with Call of Duty. I do understand the aspect of not just red dot hunting and looking around. However, those red dots drastically speed up the game. Because if I see three red dots shooting from one area, I can generally give a pretty solid guess that they are spawning in that direction which gives me an idea of where to travel on the map where not to because the lines of sight on the map you have to learn and then it speeds up the game with footsteps being quite loud they did fix that in the second weekend i will give them credit on that but with footsteps generally being pretty loud you being able to hear them campers are really the ones that are improving from these changes because when they shoot their weapon they don't show up on the map yeah you can see the origin of their gunshots but in general it's a lot harder to tell exactly where they are they don't have to move if they have ghost on they won't show up on uavs i also do understand making uavs better because there are no red dots i understand that design decision and that one actually makes somewhat of sense to me what i think they could do to improve that is maybe make uavs last a little bit longer or something along those lines i'm not 100 percent sure but then ghost comes into play and things like that personally what i believe is red dots belong in call of duty when people fire their weapons and the main reason for that is the silencer is an attachment it's been an attachment in call of duty for a very long period of time and when you play the game you know that you can be silenced you won't show up on the mini map but you're generally punished with a reduction to range or some other bad attribute on that weapon but the trade-off is you get to be sneaky and i think that that trade-off has always made sense to me except in this game and Modern Warfare 2019, it didn't matter. You didn't have to use a silencer. So that is my opinion on it. I want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. That statement they made really bugged me. So I wanted to get that across to you guys, see what you guys thought about it. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to stay up to date on everything Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, subscribe, notifications, all of that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars. Oh.